Yeah, what's up, guys? Um, so I got a couple things for sale today, and uh, a couple things I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell. Um, I still have that OG Cyber. Um, I left it over in the other side of the room there, so um, I don't feel like getting up while I'm making the video. So just know I have it. If you need to see what it looks like, just look back in the videos a couple. Um, I also got this. It's an Evo tie. Um, die job's a little weird, but um, it's not bad. It's supposed to be like a sunset die, kind of like a black to red to yellow and white uh, die. Um, obviously, it, it's kind of got some scoops, but that's more of the uh, die wearing off than any like deep scrapes. So it's really not in bad shape at all. There's a couple ball burn marks and stuff like that on it, but um, really doesn't look too bad. And you can see there's that titanium rod in there. Uh, it's right there too. It kind of runs all the way up here. I think it stops right about here. But um, anyway, it's supposedly uh, they created it for defensemen um, or really anybody that wanted titanium in their head. Um, but if you guys wanted to shoot me a couple offers, um, this one's definitely for sale. The OG Cyber's for sale. Um, and then, um, here's a couple things I'm not sure of. Um, got a Warrior M80. It's on my uh, Titan Pro. Um, Titan Pro's not going anywhere. That's mine. But um, the M80, it's in decent shape. Um, I'm not sure, though. It may have been pinched in here because when I strung this up, I know it's beautiful. It's probably distracting you more than my conversation. But um, it seems to catch the ball right here, and it's technically illegal because it's too pinched. So I don't know whether to heat it up and you know, let it out a little bit, but um, or if it's because of where I did my double ups and triples um, that. The mesh is thicker because it's American mesh, and I think it just didn't leave enough room right here. So between the shooters and the triple up there, it's getting stuck. So I may revise how this is done, but it kind of hurts because it looks so nice. Um, so yeah, this one may or may not be for sale. But um, another thing I have is a warrior. Dolomite diamond uh, shaft. This is actually the um, the dolomite is actually a um, crypto pro and titanium mix. So it's very durable, even though it has a there's a dent right uh, right up that way. Um, it's really not a big dent. Um, you hardly feel it when cradling. Um, most of the diamond. Uh, feel is still there so I did tape it up it's got a Maverick butt um, I have it with my Evo X6 breast cancer tribute um, right now I'm not sure I mean it's a decent shaft it's definitely durable um, I think this is a 2010 when the Dolomite first came out of edition so kind of the OG which OG really doesn't apply here because it's only a couple of years old. But um, if you want, just offer. So um, I'm not sure. Depending on the offers, um, I may or may not. And then um, some of you guys that are my friends on Facebook, you saw the uh, the two Viper twins that I did. Um, they're for one of my better customers. Uh, he's come back. I did a couple gold sticks for him, and then he came back with these ones. It was a little bit of a time deadline, so that was minorly a pain in the butt with my work schedule and my lacrosse schedule, but I got it done. They're shipped out. He'll have them by tomorrow morning. So I'm not really worried about it. I mean, if I lost sleep trying to string them up, that's not an issue really either. What he did that was cool was he sent me a head... Um, one of them was unstrung, one of them was strung, so that I had something to go off of, which made it 20 times easier. And so then, you know, which gave me an idea. For you guys, if you 
you wanted me to string ahead, send me a picture of the pocket that you want, and then I can kind of try to create the same same effect in the pocket. Even if it's on a different head, um, just send me a couple angles, like your channel shot and side profile, you know, stuff like that, so that I can try to duplicate it as best as possible. Um, it makes things a ton easier and reduces the fact that you may or may not like how it comes out. Um, if you say you want it low whip, I can tell you just by looking at the pocket whether it's going to be low whip or high whip. So, um, like this one, it's a little whippy, but that's mainly because it's soft mesh. And then this friggin' thing, it's pretty much the same pocket, also a softer mesh, but the ball gets stuck, so it just kind of goes straight to the ground. Because the ball, you know, when you have to fire it, it's not coming off the top. It's coming out of the middle because when it gets stuck, the force kind of throws it out. So it kind of sucks. But, again, for sale, Evo tie, weird die. Um, I think he was going for a Rabel replica, but it doesn't look bad from here. Well, sort of. But. It's got a pretty wide channel. It looks like you put a softball in it on the video, but it's not as wide as it looks. Um, when he took the picture, he did one of these. He was like, hey, I got a stick uh, for trade. I think he did one of these. I was like, hey, check that out, channel out, when really it looks like this. <laughs> so, it's okay. Either way, but, um, yeah. Just shoot me some offers. Um, like I said, the Dolmite, maybe I'll sell it. Um, M80, toying with it possibly. Um, I'm going to try to work on the pocket, see if it might have just been how I strung it. Alright, talk to you guys later.